Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding legendary hero Nika simply because infantry style of gameplay and infantry heroes are getting popular uh, because of Skolgul and Goresh and the last video about the hero guide was about Madeline so it's time for us to speak regarding Nika uh, as the one of the best secondary hero uh, in the game, in my opinion. First of all, in order for us to find out what kind of synergies uh, Nika has in his uh, skill set, we need to understand uh, what her skill does, right? Uh, first of all, I want you to guys remind you that Nika is a secondary hero. She is not used as, or he is not used as a primary simply because of peacekeeping uh, talent tree. And infantry and skills are pretty good to have uh, in general. So first skill is all, like as always, damage factor skill, uh, 1500. And also the debuff HP reduction up to 30%. Now, this is a passive skill, which is a peacekeeping skill, which we are not using in the battlefield. So, this is like a minus to a Nika skill, uh, skill set, but uh, still 30% more uh, damage to Darklings and Dark Creatures. Uh, let it be. The third skill is all about passive skill, physical attack bonus up to 20%, and march speed bonus up to 10%. After that, there is a, a skill damage deal bonus and counter attack uh, damage to the 20% and 10% to skill damage. Uh, regarding like awakening, I understand that it's pretty hard to awaken legendary heroes, but we still need to mention it, right? Uh, when Nika's Legion launches a normal attack, they have a 50% chance to deal damage if the target has a fever, then 50% units remaining. So, uh, in general, Nika is more like damage dealer uh, infantry hero, less tanky, more about DPS, uh, more counter-attack damage, and uh, the main idea about this hero is to have it as a secondary hero with the same uh, attributes uh, as a primary hero. So, we kind of understand what Nika does in the battlefield, uh, deals damage, deals counter-attack damage, uh, she's not most tanky and most uh, survivable uh, infantry hero, but she's more like a DPS bruiser. Uh, regarding like hero pairs, uh, uh, where Nika will be uh, strong, I'm not going to speak regarding talents because uh, Nika, I think uh, she will be more uh, playable in, as a secondary, and whenever there is a secondary hero, talents doesn't matter. Talents only matter on the primary hero. So, the hero pairs for a Nika, I think best one, uh, which have been the best um, like since the season 1, since the beginning of this game, uh, Madeline and Nika is one of the most popular and most like oldest uh, hero pairs in the game, which are still going strong. Uh, the synergies regarding both of them are that they are more damage uh, dealing uh, heroes. Uh, Madeline has better... Um, Talents, Infantry, PvP and Tank. Uh, Madeline deals a lot of counter-attack damage, um, the same as uh, Nika uh, on the uh, third skill, um, counter-attack damage 20%. So Nika would be suitable in the uh, heroes whichever are dealing more damage as uh, Infantry heroes. Uh, like uh, another and other hero pairs for Nika, like she can be put with anything, honestly, but the best one, uh, like 100% uh, best one, is Madeline. After that, like, she can be played with a new hero, Skolgul, because simply she's, like, same type, damage dealer infantry hero. She can be played with Goresh, because Goresh is, uh, uh, like, damage dealer infantry hero with the new one. Regarding, like, Garwood and Eliana, Garwood is, like, more healing um, type of hero. I would not recommend Garwood for Garwood uh, as a primary, secondary Eliana is much better than Garwood and Nika. So if you in general like to play as an infantry and you have a lot of um, Nika tokens, uh, you can pair her with him uh, with the Madeline um, and everything will be fine. You will be dealing a lot of damage, you will have more legion capacity because of Madeline 
and your Mika will be do uh, its job to deal damage uh, and to deal as much counter attack damage as possible. So like her hero pairs are not like much spread. Uh, there is one best one and the other ones are like uh, average so if you want to play with Nika play her with the Madeline and you will be happy uh, regarding like artifacts um, we uh, everyone should understand that artifacts only matter for primary heroes but still if you will decide to play uh, with Nika as a primary uh, any infantry artifact will work, uh, Spring of Silence uh, will work, uh, Dragon Rift will absolutely work, but Dragon will Rift is better with Madeline uh, because of Keen Passive. Uh, other than that, um, like, um, even Fang of Ashkari can work because of Legion Defense, like Fang of Ashkari is all about defense in general in this game, and pretty good artifact, uh, like... Uh, the epic ones, uh, as always, Butcher's Blade, uh, there is not much choice uh, for the epic section to choose, so the Butcher's Blade will be totally fine, and like, uh, Gurata's Rust is a bad one, because it's uh, like PvE artifact, so yeah, uh, the Spring of Silence, uh, Fang of Ashkari, uh, Dragon Rift, that's like, um, and uh, uh, yeah, the Dragon Rift, Spring of Silence, and Fang of Ashkaru. That's the only available artifacts we can uh, currently get in, in the game. Um, that's why I will only speak about this one, because I'm a 100% free-to-play player, and I don't have a chance to spend money on the new and better artifacts. Uh, regarding Warpets, um, as always, next section... I have done uh, Warped Guides uh, one by one on my channel, if you are interested feel free to check it. And like if you still are well, trying to use Inika as a primary hero, uh, like the Stripe Bear and Frostbear is the main choice. Uh, Frostbear is mainly uh, for a armor and auras, uh, Stripe Bear is more uh, for the healing, so uh, in my opinion Frostbear will be much 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 better for Nika. Uh, and um, I think for Madeline, uh, other than that, uh, Poison uh, Lizard, uh, Venomous Lizard is totally fine because Venomous Lizard is dealing ticking damage and infantry units are in general uh, more tanky and more uh, alive in the battlefield and ticking damage is always good whenever you are alive and uh, spreading it around more and more. So like you, you still have three choices, Frost Bear with Armor, Stripe Bear with Healing and Venomous Lizard with uh, Poison Damage. Uh, uh, Nika is like for in general Nika can be gotten from the gold chests so that's why it's pretty easy to uh, upgrade her skills or you can always go to the VIP shop uh, choose Nika here um, where is Nika here and every day you will be able to get uh, one uh, token uh, of legendary hero uh, Nika. Uh, this is uh, all I wanted to speak. Um, uh, I understood that Nika is one of the oldest heroes and I still have not gotten the guide about her. She's pretty interesting but pretty uh, also pretty basic hero, uh, mainly as a secondary one. So if you like the video guys, um, uh, show me tell me that video was great if you have any other ideas how you want how the nika can be played please share and i will try it by myself uh, other than that um, thanks for watching bye bye